Everybody needs an easy go-to when it comes to whole food plant-based travel snacks. So today we're gonna to make these delicious, healthy muffins so you can take them along on your next road trip, vacation, whatever it may be. So here's everything you'll be needing today to make this recipe. Obviously you'll need some muffin tins. I have these silicone ones because I don't use oil in my cooking. And it's really nice, you can just pop out the muffins after they're done cooking. Super easy to use. I'll link these below if you're interested, as well as the Vitamix for making our oat flour. Now you can buy oat flour, I just prefer to make my own. They seem less processed and I know what's in them. I have some buckwheat flour, as well as some chickpea flour some super ripe bananas. You'll need about three and a half of those. I have six tablespoons of water, baking soda, baking powder. I'll put the measurements below. Some flaxseed meal to mix in with the water to mix our flax egg. I have about seven dates here, a quarter cup of walnuts, allspice, cinnamon, nutmeg, and some ground cloves. These are the spices that I like to use, but you are free to dabble and try your own combination. And let me know in the comments below what you come up with. All right, let's get started on these muffins. First, we're gonna preheat our oven to 350. The first thing you wanna do is make your flax egg. So here I have six tablespoons of water and some ground flax meal. I'm just gonna put two tablespoons of this flax meal into the water. And then you wanna mix it up nice. This is going to be kind of like an egg substitute and it gives it that oily texture that um, the oil provides in typical recipes. You really don't need any of those ingredients. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit and it'll turn into a gooey egg-like consistency over time. Okay, now we're gonna make our oat flour. So I just take some organic gluten-free rolled oats if you need to eat gluten-free. If not, it's not a big deal. You can get oats anywhere, but if you are gluten-free, it's really important to um, make sure it has that. So I'm just gonna put about a cup and about a quarter cup of these oats into the blender. I'm gonna blend this up. Okay. You don't wanna do it too long because this actually gets really hot. You can see the steam. These are super cool, these uh, Vitamixes. Expensive, but well worth it. Especially when you live this lifestyle full time. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that in my bowl. As well as a half cup of buckwheat flour. A half cup of chickpea flour. be adding half teaspoon of baking soda and again all these measurements are going to be linked in the description box below so you don't have to memorize them by any means the full tablespoon oh, sorry I meant a teaspoon <laughs> so a half teaspoon of baking soda half full teaspoon of baking powder Then we just have a pinch of cloves, ground cloves. A dash of nutmeg, about a quarter teaspoon of allspice, and one to two teaspoons of cinnamon. Now you wanna stir the dry ingredients together really well. Get them all blended together nicely. Now 
Now that our flax egg is about the right consistency, this only takes about five to 10 minutes. And honestly, I don't even think it really matters when you're blending everything together. <laughs> so we're just gonna put that in the blender. Along with the quarter cup of walnuts. These are obviously optional. I just like the consistency and the added fatty acids that they provide my daughter. And then seven pitted dates. And I use about three and a half ripe bananas. The riper the banana, the sweeter your muffins are gonna be. So this is your natural sugar, your natural sweetness. I only use three and a half bananas because they tend to get because they tend to get super mushy and not really bread-like when you're making these muffins. Because they're gluten-free, they tend to be a little more moist. So you really want to reduce the amount of moisture as much as you can. And that's what I'm doing by only using three and a half bananas. I know a lot of banana nut muffin recipes use a ton of bananas. And I don't need these to be overly sweet or anything. I just need them to be kind of in the middle somewhere. But this is all completely based on personal preference, obviously. So just, you know, play around with it and see what works for you and your family. You can always add or take away and experiment until you find something that works for everybody. So I just blend these for maybe 20, 30 seconds. It really doesn't take long with these high powered blenders. So that's what we get. And I'll be mixing the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. These are also so great to bring along to social events because everybody loves banana bread and nobody's going to ask you whether or not they're plant-based or oil-free or sugar-free or dairy-free. You'll know that they're healthy and everybody will just eat them and enjoy. So you're just gonna blend these nicely. Okay, now is the fun part where we're actually going to be putting these into the muffin tins. So again, these are just little silicone muffin cups and you can get these on Amazon. Um, I think I got like a set of 30 different pieces of these little silicone mats, like bread dishes and um, pie dishes. So I'll link that below if you're serious about oil-free cooking because you really do need something like this if you're not gonna use oil. So we're just gonna put these in the oven and check on them in about 20 minutes. Oh, doesn't look like much of a heart anymore, does it? <laughs> okay, so it's been about 30 minutes and these are looking perfect. Okay, so Telltale way to determine if these are done. Whoop. Poke them with a Q-tip. If there's anything on the Q-tip, they're not done. I cannot believe I keep calling this thing a Q-tip. Obviously, I mean toothpick. Sorry about that, guys. If the Q-tip's free of any residue, you know you are golden. So these are perfect and super easy to take out of the muffin containers, as you can see. So here's our finished product. Oh, 
wish you guys could smell these right now. They are amazing. Remind me of my childhood. So I actually don't eat these. <laughs> I don't eat flour products or salt oil or sugar. It just doesn't taste like food to me anymore, to be honest. I just prefer something moist and whole and natural. But these are awesome for, like I said, traveling and for school lunches and social events. My daughter loves bananas and these are her absolute favorite muffins. I brought these with us on our plane ride recently when we went to St. George, Utah. I will link that video here if you're interested in the other snacks that I brought along for the plane ride and sitting around in airports all day. If you bring something like this along, you are always going to be within your boundaries of eating whole food plant-based, at least. You know, you can't always have it SOS free, gluten free, whole food, plant based, but you, we try to do the best that we can and that's what's important. And I also want to mention before I forget that this original recipe was inspired from Dylan at Well Your World. I just tweaked it a little bit to accommodate for my gluten free needs and my daughter's specific taste preferences. So you can check out um, his video if you want his version. He actually makes banana bread. I turned the bread recipe into muffins because gluten-free bread is really difficult to make, especially with bananas because they're so moist. So I just prefer muffins and so does my daughter. They're easier for her little hands. So if you guys try this recipe at home, make sure you let me know in the comments below how it turns out because honestly, this is an experiment each and every time I bake something because I am not a baker. I've been baking more recently in the past couple years for my daughter's sake. I want her to have all the treats I was able to have when I was a child, but in a much healthier version. Okay, I'm gonna put these muffins away before I eat them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you want more whole food plant-based recipes, particularly as they pertain to weight loss, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos every Thursday and Monday mornings. These are not particularly conducive to weight loss because they are a very processed food, regardless that they all the ingredients came from whole foods. They're still heavily processed. So these are not going to be helpful if you're trying to lose weight. That's what the basis of my channel focuses on. So I want to make sure I mention that. Okay, I'm done rambling. I'll see you in the next video.